I was lost without Christ and um, no direction and no hope. Um, just living for myself and a really selfish person. I reached a point in my life where everything came crashing down on me. So one day I just um, prayed to God. I said, Lord, please come into my life and take over because I can't do this anymore and I want you to um, be number one in my life again. And I want to pour back those years that I had wasted. Why the Philippines, God? <laughs> Honestly, is from the Lord. I, I have asked God the same thing. Why the Philippines, Lord? God has given me a huge desire for orphans and for street children. These street children have no one. They live on the streets and they are rejected by often their own family, society. They're considered trash. And the Lord has spoken to me the verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, that says, you know, I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you a future, and to give you a hope. Um, that's the theme verse of, I feel like, what God wants me to tell these children, that they are loved and they are valued and that they have a hope. Every time I talk about Jesus, their faces just light up and they want to know who He is and more about the hope that is found in Him. In my own self, when I first felt called to the mission field, the foreign mission field, it scared me and I wanted to hide. <laughs> but, um, you know, once the Holy Spirit gets a hold of you, there's no hiding. Holy Spirit is huge, you know, He enables me, He gives me the strength that I need to be bold for Him. Um, and I would rather shrink back. <laughs> he is um, he's my enabler, you know. It says, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, we'll see power to you, my witnesses, and that's so true. And um, I know that in my own ability, I can do nothing. I am nothing but with Him and His Holy Spirit, I can do all things. From the outside looking in, people may think I'm losing a lot, but to me, I'm gaining everything. Um, I'm in the center of God's will, and I get to go where God has called me. I get to fulfill the desires that He's placed in my heart. I get to reach out to people, minister to them, and God has given His peace that surpasses all understanding. So for me, I'm just, I'm gaining. I'm not losing anything. The body of Christ is huge to me. Um, I believe without their prayers and without their support and encouragement that I wouldn't be able to do what God has called me to do. Um, the goodbyes are, you know, I love you and I miss you and I'll pray for you and they're honestly, they're easier than they have been before. And it was really hard in the beginning saying goodbye to you know, my friends and my loved ones. But the Lord, um, as He's prepared me, He's also been preparing my friends and my family and we've been through this before and God has just given us His peace. So God has definitely done a great work there too in preparing them as well as me. To follow Christ means um, to spend time with Him and to know Him more um, each day. It means following after Him and His heart, reading His Word, finding out who He is, and then every day dying to myself, every day seeking Him for guidance and direction, and um, every day seeking to be a light in the world and just to know Him more and to grow in a relationship with Him and to serve others as He served. The scripture that I stand on is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It helps me because when I'm thinking I can't do this, I can't accomplish much, I know that I can't, but I know that with God I can do it. And it says in His Word, and I believe His Word is true, that I can do all things, that nothing is impossible with Him. Um, the Great Commission, as it says, go and make disciples of all nations. It's not just going, it's not just telling them one day who Jesus is, but it's being a part of their lives and discipling them, teaching them about God's Word and what it means, and then being an active part of their life and being an example for them to follow. It's feeding them in the tangible ways, but definitely telling them about the Redeemer and the Savior who sent me to them. I hope that Christ shines forth through me. I hope that um, I'm the image of His Son to these kids, and not just to these kids, but to everyone I come in contact with. Um, I want them to see love in me. I want them to see the character of Jesus Christ in me. You know, I was at a point in my life before where I thought I couldn't do this either. I can't do great things for God. Um, I felt unworthy. I felt like it was impossible. But the more and more that I spent in God's Word, and the more of a relationship that I have with the Lord, I knew that I could do all things through Him. I cling to in Timothy, it says God has not given me a spirit of fear, but He's given me a spirit of power, of love, and self-control. And I always submit these fears to God, and you know, I just trust Him that He's called me. He's gonna, He's sending me there. He's going to, um, you know, He's going to equip me and use me mightily for His glory. Jesus Christ means everything to me. Uh, when I think of His sweet name, it reminds me of redemption and restoration and love and of mercy and of grace and just His name that is above all names. Um, it empowers me to do great things for His glory. When I think of Him, I just think of the hope that I have found in Him. I think of what He's done in my life, and I know what He can do in other people's life. There's no sweeter name than Jesus.